you're like one of the great ones, right? You, you mean a lot to kids, like different colors, different races, everything. Is do you feel that kind of pressure in the same way that other artists, the great ones that came before you? No, I don't feel the same. Fuck no. I feel like it's man. I'm totally different from everybody. You wake up in the morning, you got two choices. Go back to sleep and dream your dreams, or wake up and chase your dreams. Trust yeah. yours. Motherfucker drip god. Nigga, I'm a drip god. The fuck up. I created this shit. I made a way for young niggas to open up and be they self. I did this. I got crucified. They called me gay. They ain't call y'all niggas gay. <laughs> Young Thug is by far the most unique and interesting artist to ever step into the game. From his hair to his fashion to his music, everything about him just really showed that he paved his own way. And pretty much every single artist today credits Young Thug as being one of their inspirations. Probably your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. From the way they say words to the ad libs to the fashion, just everything you can clearly see that it all roots from Young Thug. With Young Thug growing up in a terrible part of Atlanta, he would experience a lot of violence around him. Having had one of his brothers literally die right in front of him, and also one of his brothers currently being still locked up. Having had broken a teacher's arm in the sixth grade and getting sent to juvenile prison for it, and after getting out, he would also pick up gambling from his brothers. In the time being of him being into gambling, he would get into a lot of legal issues, get into gangs, and also start doing drugs. And also even having his first child that 17 and many more things happening to him but with even all these things happening to him he would still be chasing his dreams from making music and at this time of his career a lot of his fashion sense was influenced by atlanta and just the hip-hop culture and at the time it was really just baggy clothes baggy shirts this a lot of baggy clothes and not even just baggy but mostly oversized having had started his music career in 2010 debuting as a guest appearance on a rapper named true royal song she can go and then in 2011 he would drop his first ever tape called i came from nothing while listening to his old albums just as you listen the first thing you really notice is how a lot of his rhyme schemes the ad-libs the way he just says words this all really Really sounds like Lil Wayne. Even on the album I Came From Nothing Too, he would still be on what I would want to call his thug music still, but songs like Keep In Touch showed limitless potential. And in 2013, he would drop his breakthrough single called Stoner. The industry loved Stoner, but they didn't just love Stoner for no reason. It specifically embodied his unique boundary pushing sound that blends with melodic playful flows with trap beats. Released in 2014, the track helped define Young Thug's style where his unconventional vocal delivery often switched between high pitched melodies, mumbles, and dynamic rhythms. It just as a whole put him in a position where it set him apart from other rappers. Stoner would quickly become an anthem in the rap and trap community due to it's catchy vibe i'm not gonna lie right now i'm 17 years old and when this came out i was seven years old my earliest memory of this song is it playing on the radio over and over and over again every time i got in the car i could just never escape this song so it was not a lie when i say this is really the rap and trap anthem but going a little back to 2013 with young thug gaining attention due to his unique style at this time in his career he would meet a name that's very important in his career and his name will be rich homie kwan they would come together through the connections that they had in Atlanta through the industry. They both were rising artists and they both frequently passed each other through studios and events, but they were actually brought together by another person that was very important in Young Thug's career, which was named Birdman. As Young Thug and Rich Homie Kwan started to work together, they discovered that they had really, really good chemistry together. With Young Thug's unique voice and style mixed with Rich Homie Kwan's melodic flow, they began releasing songs with each other that caught people's attention like tracks like Get That Bag and Lifestyle, which Lifestyle was another song that was really important in the rap and trap industry. Just like Stoner, if you heard Lifestyle, you knew you were about to hear Stoner, and if you heard Stoner on the radio, you knew you were about to hear Lifestyle. And in September of 2014, they released a mixtape together that was called Rich Gang The Tour, which this would probably include some of their best work at the time, or just 
just in their whole careers as of now. Songs like Lifestyle stuck in listeners' heads because they were fun to sing along to. With the innovative sounds on the tape, it combined trap beats with melodies, creating a fresh vibe that stood out to the hip hop scene at the time. And fans were just really drawn to this sound because it was way different from what they had heard before. And the very good lyricism that really connected with the fans. Songs that talked about success, struggles, and real life experiences. A lot of people just had really deep connections with some of these songs. And as a whole, this is probably be the most legendary rap duo in the entire music industry. Don't get mad at me for saying that. I did say it was just one of them. Going into 2015, this is probably the year that everybody watching this video has been waiting for. This is the year that Young Thug really made who he is today. In 2015, Young Thug would drop his album, Barter 6, which has become a favorite among hip hop fans since it's been released. It's catchy tracks are a big reason people like Barter 6 so much. Songs like Checks with that feature hooks that are easy to remember and sing along to. Thug has a really good talent of creating melodies that stick in your head. The catchiness keeps fans coming back to the mixtapes, making it enjoyable and replayable. I know I've talked about this so many times in this video, but Young Thug is really, really big on making unique sounds, which is also another reason people like Barter 6 so much. He combines trap beats and melodic sounds with which make a new and fresh sound. With Young Thug having something unique and different every time he drops, this is really what makes fans look forward to his music dropping. Also creative lyrics, in addition to catchy music, Young Thug's creative lyrics play a significant role in his mixtape success. His use of playful words and unconventional phrases keep listeners engaged. Also, Barter 6 has a very big cultural significance. With it being released during a time when Atlanta hip hop was gaining national attention, it helped solidify Young Thug's status and as a major player in the genre. Even the cover art all everything that he does is just really unique the unique style the visual presentation as the overall experience making the mixtape not just enjoyable musically but also appealing visually another thing that i wanted to talk about with young thug's career that i felt like had to be a completely different sectioned off part of the video is his fashion influence while going on this very big run with music over the past few years he was also going through a big run with his appearance which it being also unique not just his music his unique style has redefined how artists express themselves through clothing challenging traditional norms and inspiring a new generation of fashion enthusiasts one of his most notable aspects of young thug's influence is his willing to break gender norms he often wears clothing that might consider traditionally feminine such as dresses, skirts, and vibrant colors. By doing this, he has challenged the idea that certain styles are only for men and women. This approach has encouraged other artists and fans to embrace more fluid expression of identity with their clothing. Young Thug's impact on fashion extends beyond his personal style. He has also influenced other artists in the industry. Many artists have adopted similar aesthetics, embracing vibrant colors, unconventional fits, and gender fluid clothing. Thug's influence on fashion is further also amplified by his collaborations and partnerships with designers and brands. Long story short, in conclusion, Young Thugs has profoundly influenced fashion over the years through his bold style, willingness to break gender norms, unique choices, and significant collaborations. He's inspired a new generation of artists and fans to embrace individuality through his music and fashion experiment with their looks. By reshaping the conversation around hip hop and fashion in hip hop, Young Thug continues to be a pivotal figure in the industry, demonstrating that clothes can be a very powerful form of self-expression. His legacy in fashion and hip hop will likely continue to inspire and influence as years to come. Before I end this video, there was a lot more that I could have talked about in this video, but I was not trying to go through his whole, you know, life story. I just wanted to talk about his fashion influence and his influence in music. And with this video, I felt like I really explained everything as good as possibly I could from what I knew and some of the research that I did. There was probably some stuff that I probably should have mentioned in this video, but didn't. Feel free to put it down in the comments. Next video, probably gonna be Net Spin or do up Kane and last but not least free young thug